What is up? I feel like I should be wearing a Santa hat or little reindeer ears because it is December and Christmas is fast approaching. So I thought today's video could be some macro friendly treats that you can make to enjoy during the silly season and stay on track. So I've got a few recipes I want to try based on some other desserts that I enjoy eating around Christmas time. But first, I need to head to the supermarket. So I'm gonna go do some shopping and then we are gonna get started. Just got back from the supermarket and these are the ingredients I will be using for today's video. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try some new recipes. Everything ranging from Supreme Coffee Dark Chocolate, Hint Hint Tiramisu, to Hazel Nut Chocolate Ice Cream, to Fresh Berries, to Greek Yogurt, and everything in between. Woo! Before I get started, I literally made myself an iced oxy shred just to try and help curb my cravings. And I know that when I have it, I won't want to be eating anything else. So hopefully it'll stop me from licking all the spoons and eating all the treats while I make this video. Starting with strawberry jelly for a sponge free trifle. So we have some strawberry jelly light jelly crystals. It's a low calorie jelly and I'm sure other logical people probably have a Pyrex jug but I don't so I am just using my juice jug. I am going to add in some hot water and stir it all around to dissolve the jelly. So just make the jelly as the packet kind of advises you to do and then what we're going to do is pour it into our jugs. So I'm just using a Weight Watchers custard, super simple, all you need to do is add water. On the back of the packet it says to add in a cup of water but we're going to use less water so that it is nice and thick. Stir it all around and make sure there's no clumps in. Custard is so, so hard to get nice and creamy but you have to make sure that you are stirring it the whole time. So I've been stirring this for about like four or five minutes on a super low heat and it's thickening up. And then all I'm going to do is leave it off heat to cool down so that I can top my jelly with it. I'm using peaches, but you could use fresh blueberries, raspberries, or strawberries. I just thought this would be nice and easy. We are going to layer it up, trying not to get too much juice. Next up, we have the custard. So it was nice and smooth, but when it cooled down, it actually got some skin on it. But anyway, it is still going to taste good. It just looks a little bit lumpy from the skin. We're going to layer it in. Okay, so we have the strawberry bottom layer, then the peaches, then the vanilla custard, and then on top we are going to stack it up with some peaches and then whipped cream. Wow, all I have to say is I have outdone myself with this recipe. Next up we have chocolate mousse. This is honestly one of my favorites year round, not just at Christmas time. It would help if I actually got it all in the bowl. 100 mils of skim milk or any kind of dairy-free milk you like. I'm using coconut and almond milk, so we just want 100 mils. Mix it all around. And then, ooh, blend it. These stick blenders are absolutely amazing. Look how fluffy that looks, yum. Okay, so I personally would eat this whole thing as my dessert, but if you wanna share it with someone, because technically it's supposed to be two serves, you can split the portions up into two different bowls or jars. Now it is time to put them in the fridge to set for a little bit before we top them. Mousse is nice and thickly set. You could eat these as they are, you could spray some whipped cream on, you could grate some chocolate on it, you could even top it with some fresh berries. But I actually have these delicious dark chocolate balls. There's 25 grams of them here, but we're just going to use a little sprinkle to top them with. And just like that, it is ready, oh, <laughs> ready to go. Yum! So if you were to eat both of them, it would only be 295 calories and I actually ended up using the full jar of chocolate pearls. Next up we have tiramisu. I absolutely love tiramisu, but it's definitely not macro friendly. So this isn't going to be like the standard, you know, tiramisu, but I think it's, you know, a fair enough substitute. So let's get into it. Instead of using biscuits, we'll be using wheat bix. We've got some Greek protein plus yogurt. Any kind of yogurt will do. And then we've got some cold brew. So this is a concentrate coffee. You, of course, could use instant coffee. And then we've got whipped cream to top it. And we've also got some Splenda to sweeten the protein plus yogurt. How could I forget? 
some chocolate. So instead of topping it with some cocoa, we are going to be grating up some of this. Crumble up all the wheat bix. I'm actually getting most of it in the jar, so that's a good sign. If you have instant coffee or if you don't like coffee, what you could do is use a drinking chocolate powder or of course you could use a cold brew mixture. Mine's a concentrate, so I'm going to need to add some hot water to it. But either or, whether you're using instant or a cold brew, what you want to do is pour in some hot water, just a little bit so that the wheat bix soak it all up. Mix it all around, add in your coffee, depending how strong you like it. Stir it around. Should be nice and kind of like, I guess, thick. I'm also mixing up some more so that I can make a layered tiramisu. So I'm going for another 20 grams of crumbled wheat bix. Some more coffee, a little drop of water. It smells so good of coffee. Nice and thick. Depending on what flavor you want your tiramisu to be, I mean, you could use a chocolate protein powder mixed in with your yogurt, you could use a coffee protein powder, you could use vanilla, or you could just straight up use vanilla yogurt. You'll mix that in the bowl with the yogurt, but I'm just going to be using a plain Greek yogurt with some sweetener. When you're selecting the yogurt, you really want to use the thickest bits of it. So you want a really thick Greek yogurt. You don't want a nice runny one. So I'm trying to pick all the thick bits. And I also read online that you can actually strain the yogurt. But let's be honest, I'm not going to do that. 200 grams of thick Greek yogurt. So once again, for your yogurt, you could use something like a protein powder. This one here, the cinnamon cereal milk, would actually taste really good. I think I might even use it. Or you could use a liquid honey or a sugar-free maple syrup. Or, of course, you could just use a sweetener of your choice. Just stir it all around and then we're going to layer it in. I think, honestly, I feel like this would taste really good with it. Okay, after a couple of minutes of deciding what to do, I thought I would use a sweetener since some of you might not have protein powder at home. But if you want to increase the protein content of this, of course, you could use a protein powder to stir it all in. So I've got some sweetener, mixing it all in. Nice and thick. Sweeten it to your liking. I just licked it and it is really good. So we are going to tip that in. So nice and thick. Looking good. Next layer is the thick wheat bix and coffee. Oh my gosh, it's honestly such a good texture for this. I'm so excited. So much more sugar friendly than biscuits. I wish you could smell the coffee through the camera. It smells so good. I just realized I probably should have advised you to mix in sweetener or something to sweeten the actual mixture there. So when you're mixing up the wheat bix with the coffee, make sure you add in some honey or some kind of sweetener. And to add to the top of it, we've got some more Greek yogurt. Okay, so we've layered it up with the cookie kind of mixture, the Greek yogurt cookie, Greek yogurt, and it is time to top it. Okay, so this is totally optional, but we have some whipped cream. You could use an unsweetened one. I've weighed it off camera already, and we are going to layer it up. Oh my gosh. I won't go too crazy. So that is only 11 grams, actually 10 grams of whipped cream. Cream. So we weigh it before and then we put it back on the scale after we've sprayed it. I have never tried this chocolate before. Of course, you could use any kind of chocolate or a cocoa powder, but this brand, Whitaker's, is a New Zealand brand and it is so delicious in their dairy milk flavor. Wow. And then the finishing touch is 20 grams of chocolate. You could use much less, I'm sure, but all you're going to do is just grate it. Actually, you could just use five grams grate it over oh my gosh yum i won't lie i've finished my oxy shred and honestly i don't want this to go to waste so i'm gonna take a quick video break and eat it and enjoy okay so i took the chocolate off top so that i could fit it into my macros but oh my gosh this is perfect yes i'm actually really proud of it yay all gone and i enjoyed every spoon full of it for those of you that track your macros here i have saved it as a meal so that you can see 
the chocolate actually added over 100 calories to the recipe. So if you removed any chocolate and you just used something like a cocoa powder or a cacao powder to top it, it would be less calories. So it could be under 300 calories for the whole jar. That is absolutely amazing. If you didn't want whipped cream, again, you could remove that, but it's so minimal in terms of calories. And honestly, this dessert was delicious. I hope that you try it and enjoy it. Next up, we have strawberries with chocolate chocolate dip. I would say strawberries dipped in chocolate, but in all honesty, chocolate strawberries are not necessarily the most macro friendly and they're also super hard to do. I tried making chocolate dipped strawberries on my birthday and they did not look pretty. I'd much prefer to either be given them or just go out and buy them. So this is a little bit more macro friendly and it's kind of up to you whether you want to use the dip as like a dip to serve with fresh fruit or if you actually want to dip the strawberries in it and then freeze them so that they set solid. So I bought some nice big strawberries from the supermarket and I'm going to hull them all. They're nice and clean already. Just like that, they're all <laughs> done. I personally think that fresh strawberries are delicious on their own, but this is just something a little bit fun to try. So you can get some yogurt and we're just going to use a couple of tablespoons of that by a couple of tablespoons, I mean about 150 grams. Using a natural Greek yogurt is a really good base for sauces and things like that because it is quite macro friendly. It's a low fat compared to something like a full cream. Next up, we are going to add in some chocolate protein powder. So you could use any flavor protein powder you want to, or you could just melt chocolate into the yogurt if you wanted the dip to be more chocolatey and you don't really care about the macros. I love how thick Greek yogurt is. You can keep adding in some protein powder or of course melted chocolate. The melted chocolate would help it set a little bit better. So you're aiming for about 20 grams of protein powder in your mixture. Whey protein tends to mix really well. So as you can see, it's like a nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, nice and thick. So you have two options. You could plate up the dip in the middle and then place all your strawberries around it just like that and you could serve it with some toothpicks for the strawberries and you would simply just dip it in and enjoy i just have to say i am outdoing myself with these desserts today yum i probably have strawberry throughout my teeth but anyway using yogurt as the dip is definitely more macro friendly than if we were to use straight chocolate or buy a dipping sauce from the supermarket now the other option is to actually put the strawberry on a toothpick i'm just using this one dunk it all around and then place it on a plate on some baking paper so it doesn't stick and then put it in the freezer for about an hour so that they set nice and solid. They don't look super pretty, but all you need to do is pop them in the freezer and leave them there for about an hour. 40 minutes later and the strawberries are done. Yum, perfect summer treat. Oh my gosh, these are so delicious, but they're definitely not made for someone that has really sensitive teeth. Dad, this one is for you if you're watching this. Dad and I used to absolutely love having brandy snaps each Christmas. I would always try and stuff as much cream in them as I could. So I thought I would include brandy snaps in this. This is honestly so simple. So I've got some brandy snaps here. They've got the nutrition on the back of them. So I scan the barcode to track it. And I've actually got two cans of whipped products here. So the reason why I wanted to show you both of these is because if we look at the back of the nutrition of both of them, the whipped cream is actually higher in calories than the caramel mousse is and that is because obviously cream is very high in fat so you could of course use a whipped cream or whip your own cream if you want to i just did this for convenience or you could use a mousse or something with less calories An unsweetened whipped cream would have less calories as well oh my gosh brandy snaps just smell so good they definitely remind me of christmas so in terms of whipped cream, just one more thing to note is I know over in America you have different types of whipped cream that are actually lower in calories, so that would be great to use as well. But I'm going to test out this caramel mousse because I've been wanting to try it for so long. So the easiest way to track something like this is to weigh the can, zero the scale, and then grab it. Hopefully this works. I don't know. Shake it up. <sighs> Squid. Oh my gosh, it works. <laughs> Squirt it in. Squirt some in the other end. Perfect. 
and then weigh the can again there and we see that we've only used six grams whipped cream and whipped mousses are just so light so there we go six grams and we have an individual serving of a brandy snack ready to go this is a super simple idea for those of you that have to bring a plate to maybe like a family christmas you could do the whole pack of them and bring some for the family to try as well that literally took me a minute so easy filming this video has taken me so much control but we are up to the last recipe and that is mini pavlova baskets so a lot of people on my Instagram story said that their favorite dessert around Christmas time is pavlova. If you're from overseas and you don't know what this is, it's very popular in Australia and New Zealand. You can have a Google of it and you'll find some photos. I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna make some mini ones and just top them super simply. You could use any toppings that you want. And I know I'm going to enjoy this one. Very simple, very delicious. Okay, so I've got the pavlovas. I've got some kiwi fruit, some passion fruit and some whipped. Cream. I have had so much dessert today. I've decided I'm going to give this away to my building manager. So I've already texted him and told him I'm bringing him down some morning tea. So I'm just going to decorate these and then go give them away straight away. Look at that color. Honestly, I was intending to use blueberries for this, but then I saw this passion fruit pulp and I was just so intrigued. I decided to use it. Since I'm not actually going to be eating these, I don't need to track the macros, but I will track it on my fitness pal so that you kind of get an idea of how many calories they are. So anyway, I am going to spray the whipped cream on. Not the prettiest. And then I'm just going to top them slightly. I need to run them down to my burning manager before they go all flat, but that was super simple. Oh my gosh, I just thought of another idea. So you could cut up the mini pavlova into slices, so into thirds, and then layer it with fresh fruit, and then put whipped cream in it as well. And that is it. And then you have a layered baby pavlova wow oh my gosh filming this video was so much fun definitely a delicious video to film i hope that this allows you to see that you can actually still have fun in the kitchen still eat foods that you love and stay on track with achieving your goals i am very big with the Anjuli fit squad and anyone that even just follows me on say instagram youtube or facebook with the fact that there are no food police here you truly can eat any foods that you love within moderation as long as it fits into your calories you will still achieve the results that you want so if you need any help at all with achieving your fitness goals you know where to find me head along to anjulimac.com to sign up join the squad and work one-on-one -on -one with me and if you did enjoy this video please remember to like comment subscribe and smile